house of the Lord. Let's go ahead and put our hands together to confuse the enemy this morning. Hallelujah, because our God is awesome. He's been victorious. He's been reigning over us all this week and forever in our lives. Hallelujah. We're just going to go ahead and open up with this simple song. How great is our God.
and we'll turn it over to our pastor. Praise the Lord, everybody. We certainly thank and praise the Lord for his goodness and his mercy and his love that he has shown toward us. Amen. If it had not been for the Lord on our side, there's no telling where we would be. And as we get ready to go before the Lord in prayer, let us remember men and women and children everywhere that the Lord will continue to save and add to the church daily such as should be saved. Amen. Won't you just sing this song with me? Come on and bless the Lord. to the Lord. Everybody sing. Hey. Hallelujah. 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 Give him the highest praise. You owe him a praise. Hallelujah. One more time. Hallelujah. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Because he is good. Hallelujah. And his mercy is well. Forever. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a praise. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Somebody say, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Let us praise his holy name. We come here today to give thanks unto the Lord. Because this is the day that the Lord has made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. We should rejoice and be glad in it. I thank the Lord on today for all of his goodness and his mercy that he has shown toward each and every one of us. The Bible says if it had not been for the Lord on our side, where would we be? Amen. Thank you, Lord. How many of you know the Lord is good? Ah, the Lord is good. Somebody said he's sweeter than honey in the honeycomb. Amen. He's sweet. He's good. He's merciful to each and every one of us. It's not in a man or a woman to direct their path. It's in the steps of the Lord. The Bible says the steps of a good person 
or a good man or a good woman are ordered by the Lord. We ought to always acknowledge God, acknowledge him and ask him to help us. Amen. And that right early, because the more he, we acknowledge him, the more he's able to help us. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, how many of you know the Lord humbles himself Aha, to behold the things that are in heaven and earth? The Lord humbles himself uh, to even deal with us. So if he humbles himself to deal with us, we ought to take advantage uh, of his grace and of his mercy and of his help. If it had not been, my God, for the Lord on our side. Amen. So I, I'm on, I made up my mind a long time ago. I'm going to praise him. I'm going to worship him in the house of the Lord. I'm going to give the Lord thanks. Amen. Because he is good and his mercy endureth forever. Why murmur as the Sunday school lesson was bringing out? Why complain? Just give thanks unto the Lord for he is good. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I heard a song that says, turn it over to Jesus, uh, and he can work it out. Uh, turn it over to Jesus, and he can work it out. How many of you believe Jesus can work it out? Uh, I believe that he can work it out. Uh, I believe that he's working it out. Hallelujah, uh, he's working it out. So as we get ready to go before the Lord in prayer, let us remember uh, the, the Loft and Harrington family on the loss of their son, Jamil Arrington, that the Lord will comfort them and send them a peace that passes all understanding. Uh, the funeral arrangements are on tomorrow at Greater Bethlehem Temple. Church beginning uh, viewing from 11 uh, to 1230, and following that will be uh, the home going celebration. Amen. So let us uh, uh, support our beloved sister if you can uh, and show forth your love. Uh, the Bible says, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Amen. So, and the Bible also tells us to weep with them that weep. Amen. So let us, let us, let us prepare ourselves and send up our prayers and also uh, with any support that you can give, uh, let it be given unto uh, the people. I know that uh, Sister Kathy has been calling around uh, seeking for some ushers. If you desire to help out on that day uh, to be an usher, uh, you can let uh, First Lady Quinn know and she will uh, give the message to uh, Sister uh, Kathy. Amen? Hallelujah. God is good. Uh, tell somebody God is good. Yes, God is good. And if there are any other prayer requests, you can certainly stand now and let it be known in the house of the Lord. All right. If there be none other requests, we want to ask the church to stand. Amen. I need the old I need thee every hour. I need thee, oh, bless me now, my Savior. I Yes, Lord, to be. Let us sing unto the Lord, I need. Yes, Lord. Let us sing as one. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. And we are hallelujah. I Hallelujah. Oh, bless me now, right now, Lord, my Savior. I come to to the I need I need. Express your need unto the Lord. Behold, let us worship him. 
Yes, Lord. Every hour, I need you every hour. Yes, Lord. Oh, bless me now. Bless me right now, Lord. He's our Savior. I come. We're coming, Lord, to you. Let it be hard. Pray, O oh, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we certainly thank you and praise you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness and your, your mercy that you have shown toward each and every one of us. We thank you, Lord, that you long woke us up this morning and you started us on our way. You've given us a heart and a mind to come into the house of the Lord, to enter into your gates with thanksgiving, to enter into your courts with praise. Lord, it is not ourselves that we have brought ourselves unto you, but Lord, you have commanded us and summoned us uh, and given us a heart and a mind to come and to worship you in spirit and in truth. Lord, we thank you for your anointing. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for your blessings, Lord. We thank you for being a very present help in the time of trouble. We thank you, Lord, for being good to each and every one of us, uh, for making ways where it seemed to be no way and opening doors that seemed to be shut. We thank you, uh, Lord, for blessing our families and our children. We thank you even blessing our friends and our loved ones in the name of Jesus and even blessing our enemies, Lord, we thank you. And Lord, as we stand here praying, seeking your face, oh Lord, we acknowledge you in all of our ways that you might direct our path. And Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you sanctify our hearts and our minds and we forgive those that trespass against us. We forgive those, Lord, that have did us dirty and did us wrong, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we pray, Lord, for your mercy. Uh, we pray for your grace. We pray for your anointing. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord, that you destroy every yoke, that you break down every stronghold and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. We pray, Lord, hallelujah, that you would show forth your hand, that you would show forth your handiwork in the name of Jesus. We, we pray for our marriages, Lord. We pray for our mates. Our glory in the name of Jesus. And we pray for our children, Lord. We pray for our extended children. We, we pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus for our relationships. We, we pray, Lord, hallelujah, even the jobs that we have, Lord. We pray that you bless us, Lord, that we be the head and not the tail. That you allow us to let our light shine, Lord. We pray in the name of Jesus, Lord. We pray for our finances. Glory, hallelujah. We pray, Lord, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, that thy kingdom come, that, that thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, Lord. We cast all of our cares upon you. Oh, in the name of Jesus, we cast, we cast all of our cares, Lord. Lord, we pray that you remove anxiety, that you remove all fear, that you remove all doubt. We bind every hand of enemy in the name of Jesus oh God in the name of Jesus oh God in the name of Jesus oh God in the name of Jesus I echo it in the name of Jesus Lord pull down every stronghold in the name of Jesus oh God send forth healing send forth deliverance send forth your power those that are sick in their bodies Lord send a healing virtue oh God those that need a way from you, Lord. Send a word that will heal. Send a word that will deliver. Send a word that will cause a breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, that come on, shot. Hallelujah. Those, Lord, that are expecting that will soon deliver. Lord, we pray, Lord, for a healthy birth. We pray, come on, shot, that I'm on, shot. We pray, Lord, that you would show forth your hand. Hallelujah. We build death. We build the devourer. In the name of Jesus and those Lord that are seeking you oh God that are calling on your name that wants deliverance that, that wants the Holy Ghost that wants salvation Lord we pray Lord that you pour out your spirit that you pour out your anointing 
that you pour out your power let your glory come down in the name of Jesus oh God in the name of Jesus oh God in the name of Jesus Lord stop every gift hallelujah in the name of Jesus Father we thank you and we praise you and we give you glory and honor in the name of Jesus hallelujah in the name of Jesus in Jesus name amen and amen as you remain standing hallelujah thank you Jesus hallelujah God is good come on and just clap your hands and give God a praise hallelujah hallelujah there's a song that says praise the Lord everybody hallelujah and everybody out of what everybody ought to praise the Lord hallelujah turn your attention uh, with me to Psalms uh, 33 hallelujah thank you Jesus Psalms 33, if you have it, say amen. amen. Hallelujah. I'll wait for you. Hallelujah. We got all day. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. If you have it, say amen. amen. All right. Psalms 33. <clears throat> Let us read it together. Rejoice in the Lord. Praise the Lord with heart. Sing unto him with psaltery and an instrument of ten strings. Sing unto him a new song. Play skillfully with a loud noise. For the word of the Lord is right, and all his works are done in truth. He, is, he loveth righteousness and judgment. The earth is full of it, the goodness of the Lord. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. He gathereth the waters of the seas together, as in heat he layeth up depths in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord, let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he speaks and it is done. He commanded and it stood fast. The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught. He maketh the devices of the people of none effect. The counsel of the Lord standeth forever. The thoughts of his heart to all generations. Blessed is the nations who God is the Lord and the people whom he hath chosen for his own inheritance. The Lord looketh from heaven, he beholdeth all the sons of men. From the place of his habitation, he looketh upon all the inhabitants of the earth. He, he fashioneth their hearts alike, he considereth all their works. There is no king saved by the multitude of an host. A mighty man is not delivered by much strength. A horse is a vain thing for safety. Neither shall he deliver any by his own great strength. Here we go. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. We certainly praise God and thank God on today. And today we're going to uh, have a short testimony service. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. If you have a praise or a testimony, amen, that you want to share and give unto the Lord, now is the time to give it. All right, amen. Come on, give God a praise. Oh, all right. No, 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 no sense in begging. Amen. Hallelujah. God has done too much for us. All right, Sister Cora. Praise the Lord. 
Yeah. Ah, amen. Yeah.
Damn. Get ready.
Yes. Uh huh. certainly will. Come on and give God a praise. Thank you, Lord. We certainly thank God for all the testimonies that have gone forward on today, and we certainly praise God for his greatness and his mercy uh, that endures forever. Amen. How many of you know his greatness and his mercy endures forever? Thank you, Jesus. So we want to certainly thank God for our First Lady, Lady Tracy Quinn. We thank God for her, Mother Davis, and our deacons. Deacon Fields and Deacon Daniels and our ministers, amen, Quinn and, and Grady, thank you, Lord. And we thank God for each and every one of you uh, that have pressed your way out to be in the house of the Lord, amen? Uh, uh, don't let nobody fool you. Pastor Quinn, appreciate you coming out, amen, pressing your way. I was listening to uh, Mother Davis when she said that, you know, sometimes you don't feel like it. Amen. But, you know, uh, we got to move past it. That's when you got to press your way. Uh, oftentimes, we don't feel like going to work, but we make it out there. Amen. And we get the job done. And uh, we want to certainly thank God for uh, Brother Troy Nelson being in our midst on today. We thank God for you. Amen. Brother said he was coming. He's a man of his word. We thank God for you. Amen. Amen. We certainly praise God for each and every one that has come out once again. And right now, we want to uh, change the order of our service. Uh, remember, uh, I did kind of my announcement in the beginning uh, uh, about uh, the funeral arrangements for uh, Evangelist Arrington. So let us keep that family uplifted in prayer. And let us remember, let us remember um, the, the service on tomorrow at Greater Bethlehem Temple. Uh, beginning at 11 a.m. Amen. All right. Um, as we get ready to change the order of our service, uh, we want to uh, take up our offering. It's offering time. It's offering time. Amen. It's time for us to bless the Lord. Give unto the Lord, for he will give you more to give. Amen. We thank God. Uh, our praise and our worship team will be back on uh, next week. Amen. Uh, and we praise God for them. Pray that the Lord uh, will bless us uh, with, with everything that we need, uh, that he will manifest it. The Lord has, has already uh, blessed us. He just needs to manifest the blessing that he has uh, done and given unto us. Amen. So we want to ask the church to stand. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. As you have your offering in your right hand, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this opportunity to sow seed into the kingdom. We thank you, Lord, for giving us the ability, Lord, to be good stewards that we may sow seed into the kingdom. And Lord, we ask you to use it to your glory, to the building of your kingdom, and return 30, 60, and 100 fold. And Lord, we would be remiss not to speak of the blessing that comes with the tithe and the offering. And Lord, we ask you to bless your servants for their obedience and for their faith in you, in the name of Jesus. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. All right, we turn you over to our Urshers. Urshers.
unto the Lord, for he is good. Thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Your Lord is worthy. Yes, Lord. Yes, he is good. Worthy. He's worthy. For he is good. For he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. For he is good. The Lord is good. He's worthy. Yes, for he is good. The Lord is good. He's worthy. For he is good. For he is good. Amen. The Lord is good. The Lord is good on today. Amen. We thank God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And she was here on yes last week. And we thank God uh, for Carmen Love. Correct? Amen. We thank God for you. Amen. We thank God for you. Amen. All the way from was that Lorraine, Ohio. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God for you. Amen. Cathedral of Praise, WFC. We praise God for you. Amen. Amen. We certainly uh, worship the Lord in this place. Uh, it's a time for us to draw in our hearts and our minds uh, onto the Lord and also uh, pray for the speaker of the hour that the Lord will certainly grant uh, the door of utterance. Amen. Grant the door of utterance. And I want you to stand with me as we get ready to uh, go into the word of the Lord. Amen. To go into the word of the Lord. And as we uh, are finding our, our place in this sacred hour, this sacred moment, I want you to turn with me to the book of Psalm, Psalm 116. Psalm 116. Amen. We certainly praise God for the blessings that he has bestowed upon us. Amen. And we thank God for the ways that he has made for us. Psalms 116, and I want you to drop down with me uh, to the uh, verse number 12. Verse number 12. And verse number 12 verses 12 through 14. But verse number 12 is our main focus verse. It says, What shall I render unto the Lord for all of his benefits toward me? I will take of the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows unto the Lord now in the presence of all his people. Can we read those verses together? What shall I render for all of his benefits toward me? I will pay my vows unto the Lord now in the presence of his, of his people. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we certainly thank you for this anointing that is in this place. We thank you for this opportunity, Lord, to stand before your great people to declare your word. We ask you, Lord, that you would send forth a word on today. Send forth the anointing, grant the door of utterance, grant us ears to hear the engrafted word of God to the saving of our soul. Father, we thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. And as I have already stated, I want to take a thought uh, 
for today from that verse number 12. What shall I render unto the Lord for all of his benefits toward me? I want to take a thought saying, what shall I render unto the Lord? What shall I render unto the Lord? And this particular psalm, Psalm 116, the author of it is really unknown. And in studying it, it has even a relationship to uh, the book of Jonah the experiences of which Jonah had went through. These experiences that are recorded in this psalm are very similar. The individual who penned this psalm was an individual that loved the Lord. And because of his love for the Lord, it was a love that centered around him being a disciple or a follower of the Lord. And because he was a disciple and a follower of the Lord, he was grateful that the Lord heard his cry, that the Lord gave ear unto his prayers. Anybody that's, that's following and trusting in the Lord can really appreciate when the Lord turns his ear to you to lend you, as so to speak, a helping hand, to deliver you out of all your distresses. And this particular individual, he uh, was going through a distress of death. He was going through a period in his life where he thought he was literally going to die. Whether it's spiritual or natural, he felt as though he was going to die. If you were to look at the psalm and to really read the psalm, it would talk about that he found himself in sorrow. That, that word sorrow there, it really translates to a, a position that he felt that the bands or the cords of death were pulling him down. He felt that he was in a position in life where his life struggle was, was, was empty, that the struggles and the pains that he felt, he felt as though death had a grip on him and it was literally pulling him down into hell. So he called on the Lord, the Bible says. He called on the Lord and the Lord heard his cry and delivered him out of all his distresses. He, the Lord delivered him out of his distresses. And uh, I don't know about you, but, but I don't, I, I've been in some distressed places. I, I've been in, in some dress, stress, uh, distressed uh, areas and times in my life wherein I felt like I was going to be consumed. I, I felt like that, that, that life is, 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 is going to be over. But I called on the name of the Lord and, and the Lord heard me and he heard my cry and he delivered me out of my distresses. Have, have you ever been in a place where you felt like all hope is gone and you felt like, well, I might as well wrap it up and throw in the towel. But you look to the hills from whence cometh your help and you realize that your help was coming from the Lord. And, and you realize, Lord, Lord, I'm not even worthy of your deliverance, but you heard my cry and you delivered me and you made a way out of no way. You, you opened doors that seemed to be shut. You made things right. You helped me in that right early. You, you, made, you made my enemy to behave. You prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemies and you caused my soul to rejoice. In fact, Lord, you alone, you, you restore it, my 
soul. Uh, hallelujah. Has anybody here on today has, has been restored by the Lord? The, the Lord has helped you. The Lord has, has made moves for you and delivered you out of your distresses. Is, is there anybody here that can identify? Oh God, I thank you for being so good, so good to me. And, and that's what this psalmist is saying. Lord, I thank you for being so good, so good to me. The, the devil wanted to destroy me, but it was because of you, Lord, that was on my side. Oh God, poverty wanted to overtake me, but Lord, I thank you for being so good that you provided, uh, that you made a way, that you opened up a door, that you kept me. Uh, you kept me, Lord, with my but my mind stayed on you. You you kept me from all evil with my mind stayed on you. Uh, with my mother and my father, when they forsook me, Lord, it was you that took me up. Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, for being so good, so so merciful, so merciful, so great, so mighty, so strong in power. You know the Bible tells us is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions, they fail not. Uh, they are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. How, how many are glad about the faithfulness of God? Oh God, sometimes we, we can take the faithfulness of God for, for granted, but, but God is faithful. Uh, he protects us from danger seen and unseen. God is faithful. Uh, the devil, he himself desires to sift you as weak, but, but Jesus said, I prayed for you. Oh God, how many of you are glad that Jesus prayed for you? Oh, uh, I'm glad that he prayed for me. Oh, I'm glad that he prayed for you, that your faith won't fail. That, oh God, that your faith won't fail because in the midst of every struggle, every midst of every trust, uh, your faith is being tried, my God. But God, he won't suffer you to be tempted above that which you are able. And God, your God is able to make a way of escape. I, I thank God that he knows what I need. And I thank God God that he's able to deliver. I thank God that he's able to supply. Oh God, I thank him uh, because he won't put no more on me than he I can bear. I, I thank God that he doesn't send me your test. That he doesn't send me your trial be, uh, by mistake because we serve a God that doesn't make a mistake. Oh God, that doesn't know hallelujah how to deliver. We serve a God that knows how to deliver. We serve a God that doesn't make a mistake. We serve a God, my God, I get I feel the Holy Ghost up in here. We serve a God that, that knows everything. He, he, nothing hits him by surprise. He doesn't say, well, let me put that on pause for a minute and let me think about it. Uh, hallelujah, how to deliver so-and-so out of this condition. He doesn't, they're scratching his head saying, I've never seen this before. I, I calculate this but we serve a God that's faithful oh God that's mighty oh God that's able to do exceeding as the scripture says abundantly above all that you're able to ask or think oh God so we see here in our psalmist uh, our psalmist is dealing with the pains of death and he thought his book was about to be closed but but how many of you know that uh, your God will show up uh, and he'll show up uh, your God will show up uh, and he'll show up he'll show up with power he'll show up with deliverance uh, he'll show up with joy he'll show up with healing uh, in his wings he'll, oh God he'll make the enemy behave and, oh God he'll make the enemy shut his mouth he'll make the enemy stop uh, and wonder uh, that you serve a God that is more than enough Oh, you ought to clap your hands and give God a praise. You ought to give God a praise. You see, God was dealing with this individual and he was expressing his joy and his excitement because God had done something mighty. God had done something wonderful. You see, in this individual was going through 
And it's sometimes it's like you and I. When we go through situations, when we go through things and the Lord brings us out, uh, we start making promises unto the Lord. We start making vows unto the Lord, saying, Lord, uh, if you get me out of this, uh, I'll serve you. If you bring me through this, Lord, I'll, I'll live a better life. If, if you open up this door and, and make a way of escape, I, I won't put myself in that situation again. I, I, I won't allow the enemy to get that upper hand over me. Oh God, if you open the door, if you make a move on my behalf, Lord, I'll live a life that is pleasing unto you. Is there anybody here that has made those kind of statements? Is there anybody here that has been in conditions and in situations in your life where you felt like it was all but over and and the Lord delivered you and you were so excited about God's deliverance uh, that you started to make a vow that, that you said Lord I'll bless you at all times and your praises shall continually be in my mouth uh, oh God have you ever said Lord my, my soul shall make a boast in the Lord and that the humble may hear thereof and be glad have, have you ever been excited about what God has done for you that, that you had to tell it to everybody that wanted to listen I, I remember when the Lord delivered me oh God out of the world and delivered me oh from out of all my drug addiction and delivered me from all of my fornication and delivered me from oh God from worldly lust and worldly desires that when I came into the church I was so on fire because God had been my helper that God had been my strength and every time testimony service would happen I would be like popcorn I would stand up and say the Lord has done a marvelous thing the Lord who is on our side he destroys yokes he makes all things well he'll deliver you out of all of your conditions he'll make a way no way. The Lord restored my joy. The Lord gave me peace that passes all understanding. Oh, are you happy about what God has done for you? Oh, why don't you yourself recall back the former days when you were first illuminated, when the Lord brought you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Oh, God, were you happy? Did you have joy? Did you have peace? Oh God, did you promise to serve him? Did you promise to worship him? Did you promise to give him glory? And to give him honor? Did you say, Lord, I'll bless you at all times. And Lord, I just want to say thank you. I thank you for being so good. So good to me. Oh God, and that's what the psalmist was saying. He was saying, Lord, I was about to die, but you heard my cry, and you delivered me from out of the hand of the enemy. He even said in his psalm, Lord, I repent from saying all men are liars. Oh, because you have shown me that my confidence and my trust is not in man, but my confidence and my trust is in the Lord. You ought to clap your hands and give God a praise. You see, God, when you realize how great he is, the Bible says that the Lord himself, he loadeth us daily with benefits. If you really want to serve God and know him in the beauty of holiness, it's important to know that God loadeth you with daily with benefits because it's not in a man it's not in a woman to direct their way so God has to help us oh how many of you know God is helping you he's helping you right now 
Even though you may not receive it, God is helping you. Oh, God is the one that is keeping you in your right mind. God is the one when evil came to your mind and you desired to do it it was God that stood up oh and caused you not to do something that would bring you to an open shame it's God oh God that gives you breath it's God Oh God, that gives you strength in your body. Oh Lord, I thank you for knowing where my help comes from. Lord, I thank you for knowing who butters my bread. Oh God, for who gives me, oh God, promotion. I thank you oh, for being my very present help in the time of trouble. Oh God, I thank you for when the enemy do you confuse the devil? I thank you. For when the doctors didn't know what to do, Lord, you showed up right on time. I thank you. Because the devil wanted to kill me. The devil wanted to kill you. But it's God who is on your side. It is God. All oh, that kept you and that right early. You ought to praise him. You ought to give God thanks. Lord, I will bless you. Lord, I will magnify you. Lord, I will give you glory. Oh, come on and clap your hands. Oh, think back over your life. Oh, think back over your life and give God a praise. Oh, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But it's your God that came and showed up and he showed up right on time. Oh, clap your hands and give God a praise and say he's an old time God. Yes, he is. He may not come when I want him, but he's always, he's always right on time. Even when you were dead in your trespasses and sin, your God did not forsake you. Even when you didn't have no hope, God looked on you with a hope that lived beyond the grave. You ought to give God a praise. You ought to give him a praise and say, Lord, I thank you. Oh, God, say, Lord, I thank you. When they wanted to take everything from you, God stood up and told him, don't go no further. Oh, God, I'm going to You ought to say, Lord, I thank you. And come on, son. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Lord. Oh, God, I thank you. Oh, God, I thank you. Oh, God, I thank you. I feel a thank you service coming on. Oh, I feel a praise service coming on. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. That couple shut. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. God, I'm sitting here getting flashbacks, even in my own life. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. I remember traveling over the highway. Oh, God. In that white station wagon, trying to take my family down south. Hallelujah. And I'm riding in that thing. Mm, the tire's bad, the engine bad, but I just believe God. Hallelujah. And then we came into a storm. Hallelujah. Instead of me trying to slow down and uh, 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 keep pace with everything else, I kept right on moving. And all of a sudden, I felt that car hydroplaning. Going, going up like that, hallelujah, I just called on the name of Jesus. And when I called on the name of Jesus, that car went right back down. Hallelujah, and, and ripped that road and kept on going. And don't you know what I did? I slowed down. <laughs> and I said, Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah, for being so good. I said, being so good. Because we could have been wiped out. Have you ever been in a situation where you could have been wiped out, but your God stood between you and death? Your God at 
Karamoshata, who's a shield and a buffer. Hey, Karamoshata, you God, that got power over death, hell, and the grave. Hallelujah, stood between you. So this is where the psalmist is coming from. Hey, Karamoshata. He said, Lord, because you loaded us daily with benefits, even the God of our salvation. You see, God bears our burdens. That's what that word benefit means. God bears our burdens. He bears our pain. And he bears our sorrow. God is a God of deliverance. And he alone can make a way of escape for death. He alone can make a way of escape for death. There's nobody else that can make a way of escape for death but God. But God. But God. But God. And the psalmist, he realized. So he asked the question. He said, what shall I render unto the Lord for all of his benefits? He said to himself, how can I repay you, God? How can I repay you for all of your benefits? And I believe that the psalmist begins to contemplate in his mind and say, Lord, I know that the earth belongs to you and the fullness thereof and a cavern of a thousand years belong to you, O God. So I can't give you anything. I can't give you nothing here upon this earth to say thank you. I can't give you anything, Lord. So the psalmist and the Lord dropped it in his heart. And he said, I will take of the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. He said, Lord, since I, I can't give you material, I can't give you anything that it's worth anything because you own everything. He said, Lord, I will take of the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. What he was saying was, saying, Lord, I will take of the cup of salvation. Salvation really refers to deliverance. And the cup really refers to the Passover, the cup of salvation. He was saying that, Lord, I remember how you delivered the children of Israel out of Egypt. I remember how you liberated them so that they may worship you, so that they might give you praise, that they might live a lifestyle that would give you glory and honor. So the psalmist would say, Lord, what should I render unto the Lord for all of his benefits? When he said, I will take up the cup of salvation, he would say, Lord, I will make use of all of your deliverance. I will live a lifestyle that, that takes advantage of all the power and of the grace that you have afforded unto me so that I can live a life of glory so I can live a life of honor, so I can live a life of praise. Lord, what should I render unto the Lord for all of his benefits? Oh, I, I, will, I will bless the Lord. I, I will live a lifestyle that's befitting of your glory. 
I will let my light shine before men. And come on, stop. Let them they see my good works. And glorify my Father, which is in heaven. I will declare the Lord is great. The Lord is mighty. The Lord is powerful. The Lord is strong. The Lord is my help in the time of trouble. He said, I will live this life. Hey, come on, son. I will take advantage of the grace. I will take advantage of the mercy. I will take advantage of the love that you have shown unto me and live a lifestyle that's worthy of praise. I will be obedient. I will live. Hey, come on, son. Lord, I vow that I will live and I shall not die. I will magnify you. I will lift your name. I give you glory. I'll drink up the cup. Whatever test and whatever trial, I'll drink up the cup. Whatever situation, whatever problem, Lord, I'm grateful that you can never be. I will drink up the cup. I won't murmur. I won't complain. I'll declare. I'll declare your glory. I'll declare your generation. I will declare and come on shop that you are God and God alone. In my closing here, Jesus, the Bible says, Isaiah said, who shall believe our report? To whom have the arm of the Lord been revealed. Who's going to reveal the arm of the Lord? You can't reveal Jesus unless you drink of the cup. He said, who shall the arm of the Lord be revealed? Oh, the Bible says that he was cut off. Oh, he was cut off. Oh, he was cut off. Who shall declare his generation? What that scripture is really saying was that Jesus' contemporaries, his, his, the Pharisees and the Sadducees and those that seen his miracles, those that seen his signs and wonders, they should have declared that this is the Messiah, that he's the one whom God has sent to deliver us. Oh, but they despised him. They rejected him. He was a man of sorrow and acquainted with grief. Who shall declare? Who shall drink up the cup of salvation and declare whose side they're on? Is it you that will declare that I'm on the Lord's side? Is it you that will declare that it's the Lord that has delivered us? It is the Lord that has brought us a long way. Why? Because he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace. It was laid upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. Are you able to declare that God can deliver you out of the hand of death? Will you declare that God is a healer? That God is a deliverer? That God is a way maker? Will you declare that the Lord, he brought me out of darkness into his marvelous light? Will you declare that God is a helper and he will help you at that right earth? Come on and give God a praise. What shall you render? Drink of that cup. Whatever's in your cup. Drink of that cup of salvation. Hallelujah. And declare the name of the Lord. What can you render for all of his benefits that he has shown you? <laughs> Hallelujah. What can you give him for everything that he has done for you? Uh, you can take advantage of his grace. You can take advantage 
of his mercy. You can take advantage of the power. You can take advantage of the anointing. You can take advantage of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God that was slain before the foundation of the world. You can take advantage, ah, hallelujah, and call on the name of the Lord. The psalmist said, and I'm done. The psalmist said, I will declare him in the presence of thy people. I will declare him in the presence uh, uh, of thy people. I will declare him in the presence of thy people. If you're serving the Lord and you are a benefactor, <laughs> you're a benefactor of all of his blessings. You're a benefactor of the breathless in your body. You're a benefactor for being clothed and in your right mind. If you're a benefactor from God's protection, uh, from God's provision, you ought to declare it. Uh, you ought to decree it. You ought to let everybody know uh, hallelujah, that, that the God our son, uh, he's a the God I serve, he's a provider. The God I serve, he's a way maker. You ought to declare it. Don't be ashamed of him. Uh, you ought to declare it. You ought to decree it. You ought to go up on the housetop and let it be known. Hey, come on, son. Because everybody don't know like you know. Uh, you ought to let it be known. Notice, and I'm done for the third time. He said, let your light shine. What did he say? Before me. Didn't he say it? Didn't he say it? Huh? He said, no man lighted a candle and put it under a bushel. Huh? But he put it under a candlestick. And that all my seat. Oh, that all my seat. That everybody might see Hallelujah. Everybody wants to see so that you can give life to all that are in the house. My God, I said last week, oh God, you know I'm trying to wrap this up. I've got another 19 minutes. Nine, uh, nine minutes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I told you last week. Last week that People want to see God's glory. People want to see God's power. And the only way they're going to see it is through you. You are the glory carrier. You are the anointing of God. When you praise God, the atmosphere changes. When you talk about God to other people, the atmosphere changes. You put something in them that's able to deliver them. You put something in them that's able to bring them out. Thank you. Sometimes we think that me talking about Jesus doesn't make a difference. But I beg to differ. Hallelujah. No, no. The reason why you got saved is because somebody told you about Jesus. Somebody planted the seed. Huh, huh, one planted, another watered, but it is God the kale that gave the increase. At the time of your deliverance, God brought you out. At the time of your breakthrough, it was God that opened the door. At the time of your need, huh, come on, shot. It was God that showed up, and he showed up with power. He showed up with deliverance. Why? Because somebody put it in your heart to call on the name of the Lord. Somebody put it in your heart to call on Jesus. Somebody put it in your heart to turn to the Lord. Somebody put it in your heart to call on him that is able to do exceeding and abundant. What shall I render? God said, the same comfort that I comfort you with 
I want you to turn around and give that same comfort to others. When you come across people that are at their lowest point, <laughs> when you come across people that are ready to give up, you tell them about the comfort that comforted you. You tell them about Jesus uh, that was able to save you. You tell them about the one uh, that brought you out, uh, that put running in your feet, that gave you joy, that gave you peace, that gave you hope, that that come on, shot, that gave you strength. Let the church stand. Lord, stripping us today. What shall we render? If I don't render it now, then we. You can't wait till things get better. Things may not get better. <laughs> Hallelujah. This trouble on every hand. How many of you right now are going through at least five things, different things? Uh, yes, yes, man. Thank you for being honest, Sister Tamika. Hallelujah. Oh, the enemy is fighting. That's why he said, count it all joy. I can't wait for things to get better. I got to bless him now. Hey, I can't wait till my situation changes. I got to bless him now. If not now, then when? Give God glory now. Drink of the cup of salvation now. Take advantage of his grace and his mercy now. You know, sometimes some people tell me, well, as soon as I get my life right, uh, I'm going to come to Jesus. Uh, you can't get your life right. Uh, Jesus is the one that gets your life right. Uh, there's, there's so many errors in that, uh, that fallacy statement. You can't get your, if you could get your life right, why would you come to Jesus? Oh, y'all look so nice. Thank you, Jesus. Let us pray. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we certainly thank you for salvation. We thank you for deliverance. Lord, we thank you for power. We ask you, Lord, that you bless each and every soul that's under the sound of my voice, that you give them grace, that you give them strength, that you send forth the anointing. Bless them, Lord, to render, ah, to render, thank you, Lord, unto you the cup of salvation, to be a partaker of that great cup. Hallelujah. To give thanks unto you at all times and allow your praises to continually be in their mouth. Lord, bless them. Bless each and every soul under the sound of my voice that they will not murmur, they will not complain, but they will give you thanks that they will bless your name. Hallelujah, that they will declare you ah, amongst all people, that they will declare your generation. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you, and we praise you, give you glory and honor, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, in Jesus' name, amen. Declare his generation. Render unto him thanks. Bless his holy name.